shut up. I get a full auto arm off right now, or I'm coming in there and hitting you with it. Five more minutes. I've given you an entire hour, Micah. Don't you dare. Rise and shine, dumbass. I hate you. It's like 7 p.m. I think you should eat something. Yes, mother dearest. Hey! Watch your tone. Ow! Okay, okay, I'm getting up. About time. My name's Micah Oak. They them. I'm 25 and going nowhere fast. I share this tiny apartment with one of my best friends. We're pretty sure her two moms think we're dating. We're not, just to get that out of the way. But we call this place home. Well, for now, anyways. That's right, a whole third floor apartment for the two of us and a totally overfed house cat called Crescent. Incense, what are we stressed about? It's not for stress, it's for encouragement, luck, that sort of thing. For you. Hopefully you keep this job for more than a couple of weeks this time. Can't cancel out my existence like this. You're not unlucky to the core, you're just going through a rough patch. Right. Any crystals to keep in my pocket for the night? I'm glad you asked. Well, I asked for a crystal, not a weapon. It's the perfect palm size and weight, so it doubles up as a distraction and protection. Amethyst, right? Who knew you were capable of learning something new? This is Salem Alice. She, they. Goth witch vibes all around. I'm convinced her eyeliner is tattooed onto her face. Despite their glasses being almost comically large, they manage to misplace them every other breath. Which has, like most situations, resulted in arguments, inside jokes, and a handful of search parties. One of which included a metal detector, only to discover afterwards that her glasses contained absolutely no metal. Not even the screws. You know, if you don't feel like sleeping as soon as you come home tomorrow, then you're welcome to come foraging with me before I clock in at the library. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. It, is that the time already? I tried to warn you. I gotta go. At least get dressed first. Right, right. Thanks, Salem. Move faster. Bad, bad. First impression can't be good. If I take a shortcut, I can be there in five, but what about the traffic? Didn't they close up the road yesterday? There, done. Bye, Salem. Bye, Crescent. Aren't you missing something? Wallet, keys, phone. Where's my phone? Okay. Bye for real this time. See you tomorrow, Micah. You're five minutes late. I know, I know. The traffic was all over the place, and I took a different route because I thought a certain road was shut, but it turns out they shut one in the redirected route as well, so I had to go an even longer way around. It won't happen again. Sorry, boss. <laughs> boss? I'm not your boss. I just take the shift before yours. Meaning that if you're late, I'm stuck here. Uh, my bad. I, uh, set you free. Thanks. Micah. My name's Micah. Right. Thanks, Micah. I'm gonna grab my stuff now. Sure. Thanks for covering me. Don't mention it, but try not to make it a habit, yeah? Of course. Bad start. Hey, wait, I didn't catch your name. Huh. She's gone. Guess it's just me. I'm sure many of you have worked retail jobs, so I'm not gonna bore you with the basics. The first few hours drag on way too long. A few customers here and there, mostly panicked food tech teens who remember they need ingredients for tomorrow morning, or the tired parents of those kids. I thought I'd entertain the time by trying to find any details of my coworker that could have possibly been left behind. Note, I'm aware there's more than two of us that work here, so anything I could find may not even belong to her anyways. Not that I could find much. What kind of ghost town? <clears throat> ah, good evening, ma'am. Forgive me, I didn't hear you come in. Let me scan these for you. Is that all for you today? Right. Well, your total is three forty. Will you be paying by cash or? Here's your bag. Have a nice night. I have never seen a convenience store so clean. Well, no. The floor is disgusting, but there's no sign of litter. Not even a scrap of paper. Weird. Good evening, sir. Can I help you at all? Let it be known, he was stranger than the old lady. His jacket was slightly too big, covering his hands, and he wore large black boots. The kind with all the buckles that served no purpose. 
I could tell he wasn't looking down, and yet I still couldn't catch a glimpse of his face under his hood. When he eventually arrived at the counter, ten minutes before I ended, despite entering the shop three hours earlier, the only item he bought was a large can of energy drink I didn't recognize the name of. Nice pronoun badge, dude. Been thinking about getting one myself. You aren't the new worker. I am indeed. Your total is 713. <laughs> lucky and unlucky. What a strange price, right? <laughs> there are much stranger wonders of the world, my dear. Uh, have a nice night. Hey, are you heading home soon? As soon as whoever's meant to be in for the morning shift gets here. They're not there yet? No. But with all the roads that were shut yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised if they were a little late. Please tell me you got there on time last night. Well... Oh my god. I wasn't that late, I swear. Blame the roads, not me. It's not like the boss was here or anything. Wait, really? Aren't bosses meant to, like, show you the ropes or something on your first day? I mean, probably, but he was nowhere to be seen. The girl from the shift before me was here, though. You spoke to her? Is that so hard to believe? So, she left you alone on your first shift without guidance or anything? I mean, I don't blame her, and besides, it's not rocket science. I've had a few jobs like this before. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure night shifts have slightly different etiquette, or at least more safety rules to follow. I'm still in one piece, Salem. Stop worrying. Fine. Just drive safely, idiot. I'll see you soon. Expecting weirdness from a night shift is a given. But there were no groups of tipsy friends buying more than just a mistake the next morning, or students on group projects they've left to the last minute. Not even a talkative insomniac. And I'm not just talking about inside the building. I know damn well there's a bar around the corner, so where was everybody? I traded a ship with Fang again so I could catch class, but he only just messaged me telling me he actually starts an hour earlier now, so I got here as soon as I could. Charlie? Oh, hey, Micah? Fancy seeing you here. Has Ellie left already? Do I need to serve you? Who's Ellie? She works the night shift. How long have you been standing here? Charlie, I work the night shift. Since when? Since yesterday. So, what happened to Ellie? How am I meant to know? I don't know. Haven't you looked at the schedule? What schedule? Right. We don't have one. What kind of shop doesn't have a schedule? This one, clearly. Screw this, I'm going home. Wait, Micah, don't- That was Charlie King, he they. I'm friends with his younger brother and... Civil, with him. He's very friendly with my little sister, though. We get along when we have to, and I get the feeling I'm going to start seeing more of him than I'd like to. Many people would call them attractive, but I just call them annoying. There are some things a crystal can't fix. It's way too early to be dealing with this. Remember to always put the toilet seat down so the sewer rats can't escape. In today's episode, you heard Luca Miller as Micah Oak, Teo M. Shin as Salem Alice, Angela Yi as the co-worker, Kit Patterson as the man, and Victor Longha as Charlie King. Mixed Bad Luck is written and produced by Cry MJ, and credits are read by Kit Patterson. Thank you for listening. Hello there, dear traveler. I see you found yourself lost within the morbid forest. But don't fear, Ranger Harper is here to guide you through the twisted tales seeping among the trees. Best stay close to me, lest you find yourself trapped within the morbid forest. The Morbid Forest is a horror anthology podcast available on all streaming platforms and suitable for mature travelers only.